Imagine a time when black and white cinema reigned supreme, when stars of the silver screen exuded timeless charm, and every flicker of the projector brought with it the promise of enchantment. It was in this golden age of Hollywood, back in 1955, that Daddy Long Legs waltzed onto the stage of our collective imagination. Like a long lost melody echoing through the corridors of time, the film made its debut, igniting sparks of wonder in the hearts of viewers. Do you recall the first time you were introduced to this cinematic gem? Perhaps it was a cozy night in, the flicker of the screen casting its magic, or a chance encounter with a vintage movie poster that piqued your curiosity. Daddy Long Legs has woven itself into the tapestry of classic cinema, leaving an indelible mark on those fortunate enough to witness its allure. As we embark on this journey of rediscovery, let's delve into the enchanting world of Daddy Long Legs. This celluloid masterpiece is more than just a classic. It's a treasure chest of random facts and captivating tales. Are you ready to uncover the secrets of its making, its unforgettable moments, and the trivia that has kept it alive in our memories? Buckle up, for we're about to take a charming trip down memory lane and unlock the intriguing facets of this cinematic gem. Daddy Long Legs, the 1955 film, is a charming adaptation of Gene Webster's classic novel. It revolves around Jerusha Abbott, an orphan with a wit as sharp as her spirit, who gains a college education thanks to an anonymous benefactor she dubs Daddy Long Legs. Starring Fred Astaire as Jervis Pendleton and Leslie Karen as Jerusha, the film's iconic characters bring a unique blend of romance, humor, and heartwarming moments. The film's style reflects the elegance of the era, with Astaire's dance sequences adding a touch of magic. While Daddy Long Legs might not be as famous as some other musicals of its time, it remains a hidden gem in cinematic history. Its impact on popular culture lies in its timeless theme of education and empowerment, emphasizing the importance of giving opportunities to those less fortunate. In the 1955 movie Daddy Long Legs, there's an interesting tidbit regarding the use of LaGuardia Airport footage. The film borrowed an exterior shot of LaGuardia Airport from the 1953 movie How to Marry a Millionaire. This recycling of footage was a cost-saving measure, a common practice in the film industry at the time. Fred Astaire, a legendary dancer and actor, had a say in the casting of the film. While Mitzi Gaynor was the studio's initial choice to play Julie, Astaire personally requested Leslie Karen for the role. Astaire's influence in the casting decision played a significant role in shaping the film. During the filming of Daddy Long Legs, a personal tragedy struck Fred Astaire. His wife passed away, causing him great emotional distress. Between some takes, Astaire would retreat to his trailer and cry, which explains the red and swollen appearance of his eyes in some scenes. This behind-the-scenes glimpse of Astaire's emotional struggle adds a poignant layer to the movie. In conclusion, Daddy Lawn Legs holds some intriguing behind-the-scenes stories, from the reuse of airport footage to Fred Astaire's personal involvement in casting, and his emotional struggle during filming. These details provide a deeper understanding of the film's production and the challenges faced by its cast and crew. In the 1955 movie Daddy Lawn Legs, a remarkable anecdote sheds light on the collaborative efforts of its stars. Leslie Karen, who played the lead role, expressed her desire to design her own costumes for the film. Fred Astaire, the veteran dancer and actor, agreed, but with one condition, okay, but no feathers, please. This stipulation arose from Astaire's past experience with Ginger Rogers, who insisted on wearing an elaborate ostrich feathered dress and top hat, which earned her the nickname Feathers. During filming, the feathers began shedding, creating a significant distraction. This amusing incident was satirically recreated in a dance sequence in Easter Parade with Astaire and Judy Garland. This playful exchange between Karen and Astaire adds a delightful layer to the behind-the-scenes stories of Daddy Lawn Legs. It showcases the enduring influence of past experiences on the set, and how stars like Astaire learn from their previous mishaps to ensure a smooth production. Daddy Lawn Legs is not just about its costumes and the humorous exchange between its stars. It also boasts a unique sequence. In the film, there is a segment known as the Texas Millionaire Sequence. This stands out as the only time in Fred Astaire's illustrious career when his singing voice was dubbed, and it was done purely for comic effect. A vocal performance was provided by Thurl Ravenscroft. 
who is famously known as the voice of Tony the Tiger in Frosted Flakes commercials, and for his uncredited role as the vocalist on You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The use of Ravenscroft's voice in this particular scene adds a touch of humor and novelty to the film. It underscores how Daddy Long Legs combine the talents of its stars with a creative approach to storytelling. In conclusion, Daddy Long Legs offers a glimpse into the fascinating world of Hollywood and the unique stories that surround its production. The exchange between Leslie Karen and Fred Astaire regarding costumes, and the use of Thurl Ravenscroft's voice for comic effect in the Texas Millionaire sequence are just some of the intriguing aspects that make this 1955 movie a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. In 1955, the film Daddy Long Legs graced the silver screen. Starring Fred Astaire, aged 56, and Leslie Karen, 24, it brought together a significant age difference. Astaire's dance prowess met Karen's youthful charm in the cinematic tale. In this production, the Pied Pipers revisited Johnny Mercer's heartfelt ballad, Dream. The quartet had previously scored a best-selling capital single with this tune in 1945. The familiar strains of the song added a timeless touch to the film's soundtrack. Interestingly, Fred Astaire had high hopes for a dance sequence called the Slewfoot in the movie. He believed it would spark a dance craze. However, his prediction didn't pan out as expected. Daddy Long Legs may not have left a dance craze legacy, but it remains a classic film from 1955, known for its charming lead actors and timeless music. In the 1955 movie Daddy Long Legs, a few interesting facts stand out. This musical marked a significant moment in film history as it was Fred Astaire's first and last movie for 20th Century Fox. Astaire, known for his legendary dancing skills, lent his talent to this production, making it a memorable milestone in his career. Additionally, Daddy Lawn Legs marked the final screen vocalizing by the Pied Pipers. This vocal group, known for its harmonious contributions to the music of that era, added their unique touch to the film's soundtrack. Furthermore, there's an intriguing anecdote involving Leslie Karen, one of the film's stars. She expressed her desire to create her own costumes for the movie. Fred Astaire, recalling a previous experience, told her, Okay, but no feathers, please. This reference harks back to the days when Astaire worked with Ginger Rogers in Top Hat, where Rogers insisted on wearing an elaborate ostrich feathered dress, earning her the nickname Feathers. During filming, feathers started shedding from Rogers' dress, creating a significant distraction. This amusing incident was satirically recreated in a dance sequence in Easter Parade with Astaire and Judy Garland. In summary, Daddy Long Legs is not only a noteworthy musical film of 1955, but also a production that carries interesting historical tidbits related to the careers of Fred Astaire and the Pied Pipers. It's a testament to the entertainment industry's evolution and the humorous anecdotes that can emerge during its creation. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Daddy Long Legs, we hope this classic 1955 movie has awakened your senses and kindled the fires of nostalgia in your heart. This timeless tale, woven with threads of love, inspiration, and unfulfilled dreams, often tugs at our very own stories, reminding us of the power of human connection and the uncharted paths our lives may take. Now, we invite you to embark on a journey of reflection. Have you ever found yourself in the shoes of the characters, navigating life's twists and turns? Perhaps you were the mysterious benefactor to someone's dreams, or the recipient of an unexpected gift of hope. Whether it's Judy Abbott's vivacity, Jervis Pendleton's transformation, or the serendipitous encounters that define the plot, Daddy Long Legs has a way of resonating with our own experiences and aspirations. We encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this cinematic gem. What does Daddy Long Legs mean to you? Was it a source of inspiration, or did it uncover forgotten dreams? Share your insights, anecdotes, and sentiments, and let's celebrate the enduring magic of this film together. Thank you for your time and interest in revisiting this classic masterpiece with us. Your engagement is what makes these timeless tales come alive in the digital age. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories, and we're grateful for the opportunity to connect over the love of cinema. Until our next adventure in storytelling, remember, it's not just about the movies, it's about the stories they awaken within us.